wire C and wire D are made from different materials and have length LC is equal to LD is equal to 1 meter. The resistivity and diameter of wire C are 2 into 10 to the power of minus 6 ohm meter and 1 millimeter and those of wire D are 1 into 10 to the power of minus 6 ohm meter and 0 0.5 millimeter. The wires are joined as shown in figure and a current of 2 ampere is set up in them. What is the electric potential difference between points 1 and 2 and points 2 and 3? What is the rate at which energy is dissipated between points 1 and 2 and points 2 and 3? LC the length of LC is equal to LD is equal to 1 meter. This is the length of the each wire C and D and the resistivity of the wire C is 2 C is equal to 2 into 10 to the power of minus 6 ohm meter and the diameter of the wire C is DC is equal to 1 millimeter. 1 millimeter is equal to 10 to the power of 1 into 10 to the power of minus 3 meters. The radius of the wire C is RC is equal to DC by 2 that is equal to 1 into 10 to the power of minus 3 meter by 2. RC is equal to 0 0.5 into 10 to the power of minus 3 meters. This is the radius of the wire C. And the resistivity of the wire D is equal to rho D is equal to 1 into 10 to the power of minus 6 ohm meter and the diameter of the wire D is DD is equal to DD is equal to 0 0.5 millimeter that is equal to 0 0.5 0 0.5 into 10 to the power of minus 3 meter this is the diameter of the wire d the radius of the wire d is rd is equal to d d by 2 that is equal to 0 0.5 into 10 to the power of minus 3 meter whole by 2. Rd is equal to 0 0.25 into 10 to the power of minus 3 meter. This is the radius of the wire D. The current through the wire I is equal to 2 amperes. These are the given values. First of all, our system is made up of two wires that are joined together to calculate the electric potential difference between points. We first calculate the their resistance. The resistance of the wire, first of all, the resistance of the wire at a point C is RC is equal to rho C LC by A. This is the resistance R is equal to rho L by A. So, rho C LC by 
वेर ए सी वेर ए इज द एरिया ऑफ द वैर द एरिया ऑफ द वैर इज पै आर सी स्क्वे दिस इज द एरिया ऑफ द वैर सो द रेसीस्ट ऑफ द वैर आर सी इज ईक्वल रो सी इज द टू इंटू टेन टू पवर ऑफ माइनस सिक्स ओम मीटर इंटू एल सी इज द वन मीटर होल बै पै इंटू द रेसीस्ट द रेडिय आफ द वैर सी इज द जीरो पॉइंट फाइव इंटू टेन ट पवर ऑफ मैनस् थ्री मीटर ओल स्क्वे आर सी इज ईक्वल द रेसीस्ट आफ द वैर एट सी इज ईक्वल टू पॉइंट फाइव फोर सिक्स ओम्स दिस इज द रेसीस्ट आफ द वैर एट सी वी कैन कालकुलेट एट द the potential difference between the points 1 and 2 the potential difference between the point 1 and 2 delta v 1 2 is equal to the potential difference between the points 1 and 2 is equal to i r r c delta v12 potential difference between the points 1 and 2 is equal to i current through the wire and at that resistance that is equal to delta v12 is equal to the current is the 2 amperes into the resistance of the wire rc is equal to 2. Five four six ohms. The potential difference between the points one and two is equal to five point zero nine volts. This is the potential difference between the points one and two. And the second one, what B is. the potential difference between the points 2 and 3 we can calculate the potential difference between the points 2 and 3 first of all we can calculate the the resistance of the point d is rd is equal to rho d ld by area of the wire ad that is equal to rho d l d by pi r d square so the resistance at point d is equal to r d is equal to the resistivity of the wire d is 1 into 10 to the power of minus 6 Ohms into the length of the wire is one meter whole by pi into the radius of the wire D is zero point two five into ten to the power of minus three meter square. So the resistance of the wire D R D is equal to The resistance of the wire D R D is equal to five point zero nine ohms. We can calculate it the the potential difference between the points two and three. So delta V two three is equal to the current through the point D into the resistance of the point D. So I R D. So delta V two three is equal to delta V two three is equal to the current is the two amperes into the resistance 
of point D is 5.09 ohm. So the potential difference between the points 2 and 3 is equal to 10.18 volts. This is the potential difference of point 2 and 3. And another part C is the another part C is the the power dissipated in the points 1 and 2. So, the power P 1 2 is equal to I square R L. So, P 1 2 is equal to the current is 2 amperes whole square into the radi the resistance of the wire C is the the resistance of the wire C is the R C is equal to 2.546 ohms. So, the power dissipated points between points 1 and 2 is P 1 2 is equal to the points P 1 2 is equal to 10.19 watts. This is the power dissipated at the points 1 and 2 and consider the part D. The power dissipated at a point 2 and 3 is P 2 3 is equal to I square R D where R D is the resistance at the point D. So, P 2 3 is equal to the current is the 2 amperes whole square into the resistance at the point D is 5.09 ohms. So, the power dissipated at a point 2 3 is equal to the power dissipated at a point 2 3 is equal to 20.37 watts. This is the power dissipated at point 2 and 3.